Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Socks. I'm uh, Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And today we're going to look in the crypto world. Obviously, we're no big fans of crypto, though, I mean, if you made money, good for you. We're going to look at all the crap that happened and why it is not over or remotely close. Yeah. Yeah. It uh, reminds me of that go uh, old adage about how when the tide goes out, you see who's truly been swimming naked. You ever heard that one before? No, that's pretty common. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. If you guys enjoy this kind of entertaining stock market content, you're a wizard. You guys, stocks. <laughs> By all means, give us a like and subscribe below. We'd love to have you along in this little adventure of ours. Two stupid guys trade stocks. All right. <laughs> Why did I put Big Buffett crypto on fan. here? Yeah, because because he just recently said that he would not buy all the. Bitcoin in the world for twenty five dollars. Why would he not buy big all the Bitcoin in the world that it currently has a market cap of five hundred billion for twenty five dollars? He doesn't trust it. Doesn't think it produces anything. Actually, is what he said. Right, and because if he paid twenty five dollars for it, that's now the market cap, and he doesn't think he can sell it for more than twenty five dollars. I mean, he might, but he can't guarantee it with enough go. certainty. This can be important for what happens next. All right. So one trillion in crypto market cap vanishes across the board. Forty percent of Bitcoin holders now in the negative, according to Washington Post. But why is this happening? Right? That's what we're trying to figure out. You familiar with Terra? I, I wasn't until this. I actually confused them with Tether. They're uh, similar sounding, similar functioning. Uh, purpose but done in a different way uh, my understanding is terra is an algorithmic stable coin whereas tether was an actual backed by uh, like financial assets stable coin so terra also ones. backed by financial assets just terrible ones we're gonna get into it <laughs> uh so terra it is a stable coin i put stable in parentheses because not too stable and uh yeah it's supposed Back to be to pegged one to one with the u.s dollar not tether Tether's backed by cash. Oh, and no, other things. Uh, commercial paper. US, what? Commercial paper. Commercial paper. Uh, like you said, UST, or Tether, is an algorithmic stable coin using a system of minting and burning tokens to adjust supply and price, utilizing its sister uh, token, Luna, as like, kind of like a shock is over. So at all times, the value of Terra, or UST, should be $1.00. The value drops below a dollar, then the coin will be burned and exchanged for dollars a Luna. So the opposite, if UST goes above a dollar, then Luna gets burned to make more UST, thus increasing supply and lowering price. Right? So they go hand in yeah. hand. Yeah, makes sense. On a, like a simple kind of explanation, I guess. So before I go to the next slide, and for people uh, watching, because this is really funny, to me, I'm reading this, I'm like, but what happens, I, I don't want to say the scenario, what do you think would immediately kill this system if UST goes down and they rely on UST then being burnt to increase supply and then being burnt for Luna? Yeah, they call it the crypto death spi spiral, basically. They, they could end up chasing their own tail as they continue circling down towards the drain is the idea. Yeah, so I'm, I'm reading this because I'm not familiar with Terra. And I'm like, so but. If UST goes down, what if everyone just sold Luna? Yeah. Like, why exactly. wouldn't that just kill the currency, right? Entirely based upon confidence, which in fairness, so is most of the financial industry. Well, yeah. Like, all it takes is a crisis of confidence in something that many people have never heard of and then drain. Super confident. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now lost 100% of value and it's down to pretty much nothing. Um, yeah, so during this time, this is actually kind of cool, Tether fell to 95 cents, breaking its one-to-one -one peg. Within 24 hours, it regained the peg after more than 3 billion worth of tokens left the system in a single day, all right? Tether is backed by cash reserves, some other things, um, like treasury bonds, what have you. Yeah. Terra, the financial asset that it was backed by, was Bitcoin. So mm -hmm. as Bitcoin drops, the whole system dies. And I don't understand, unless you were just have blind faith 
in Bitcoin, I don't understand how you're not like, wait, when Bitcoin falls and this is backed by that, why wouldn't this happen? Yeah, it, it's like they're, they're almost certainly not correlated at all. <laughs> yeah, right, right. The entire crypto market moves together for the most part. It, it's just insane to me to think that you would use a backstop or reserve that is highly correlated to the underlying asset you're trying to protect. It makes no sense. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense at all. Um, yeah, you because we're seeing it right now. It literally died. Yeah. Um, so what stops a free fall of Bitcoin here? So Terra Luna creator Quan, I didn't put up the tweets because it was going to get really complicated. He essentially just put up like a bunch of things that they can do to fix the currency. Homie, you're not fixing the currency. It's dead. It's like a one four thousandth of a penny right now. So it's, yeah. you're screwed. Did, did you see this, the tweets about how he like he was basically calling people out saying like making bets there, there's actually apparently on the blockchain i think it's 10 million dollars he made a bet against someone that terra would not be down in the one year from the, the date of that bet uh, that's not gonna go well yeah it, it, arrogance and, and hubris he, he there was some things he was saying where he's like if people invest they'll get they're gonna get two for one for their investments something they hold in for two years and then he was also changing things to where you could mint four times or burn four times the amount of uh, coins as previously allowed in the description of the currency it's not gonna work it's dead but you know yeah. I mean, trying to do what he can do but they hold 3.5 billion in bitcoin so what's to stop him from just unloading the 3.5 billion in bitcoin to the market you market sell 3.5 billion you're, you're going to push the market when you do that but you could not a lot right because market cap of bitcoin is 552 billion ether is 236 then nothing down here i don't know why these are these are just <laughs> the ones available on robin hood remember you when you owned litecoin uh yeah i owned a little bit i own some ether also if you'll notice this do you see that yeah. i have some bitcoin yeah, yeah you do it's cute yeah do you want to know why that's there uh, it was a gift from uh, Robin Hood. You, so Robin Hood said to half the users, if you put in 15 grand right now, which I was going to anyways, we'll give you $250 cash. Then the other half was, we'll give you $250 in Bitcoin. I was a Bitcoin one. I believe you were a cash one. Or were you a Bitcoin I one? I was. I didn't take advantage of it though. You were a cash like, one? I can't withdraw cash. my Bitcoin for another 20 days or I forfeit the bonus. So I just to watch it lose its value. <laughs> yeah, what's it worth now? Like a hundred bucks? Yeah, it's I'm down to I'm like one fifty from okay. when I did the bonus. Yeah. Here is a uh, Bitcoin today. Not great. Mm. Yeah, not loving it. The, not the, loving definitely it. Definitely the digital digital gold, huh? Yeah, I don't. This is not good. Um, the problem is w the stock market's already in correction right now, and you'd think that. Though they shouldn't be in any way be related. I'm gonna let me specify that they will be somehow because people yeah. are going to lose confidence. Like, oh, if I lost my money here, then you know all our stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I completely agree. It, it really takes out the the basis for uh, cryptocurrencies as an alternative form of investment to me uh, when they the, they're so highly correlated to like the overlying market. You really see when you go into like this risk off environment. It is one of the assets that's hit the worst because, you know, it, it really is seen as like that bleeding edge of risk. You know, that's one of the first things people offload. Yeah, I mean, it's down 50, it down more than 50% from its highs. Yeah. Spy is down like 19. And, so. you know, the other big thing with this is that it, uh, it relies on confidence, right? Which you know, arguably so does the entire financial system. Um, but it's so unregulated that... People don't will never have or or would take millennia, I would say, to develop the level of confidence in this digital like kind of currency world that they have in the underlying you know finances of say the U.S. US government to U.S. dollar. Um, and without that, it's it's going to be speculation. I think at, at best. Yeah, I mean at best. Um, Stay tuned. We, we, we are going to look at uh, how you kind of look at the bottom using a fear and greed index. One of our next videos mm -hmm. is coming up. Interesting. And uh, the other thing, yeah. 
I want to do too is like a dive into a little bit. Now that we've seen like, you know, Apple and Amazon and, and Google have, uh, you know, pretty significant sell offs and discounts, is, uh, start doing some more numbers on them and see like where I think they could end up in terms of where I feel comfortable starting to buy them. Um, that, that's another thing we're going to be doing soon. And dream prices, CCL exactly. 10, baby. All right. Yeah. Better guess. All right, guys. Yep. Get to the next one.